Next tonight, a closer look at the power of the Latino vote, already the largest non-white electorate and growing. They will help decide some key swing states, but what are the issues that are driving them? Here's ABC's John Quinones. Renato Ramirez is living his American dream in Texas, running the ranch his parents bought in 1940, the year he was born. Whoa. Ramirez is one of 32 million Latinos eligible to vote in the upcoming election, the largest non-white electorate. Most of us have the same common goal. We, we all want to educate our children. We all want them to have a good economic life. He's not alone. 80% of Hispanic voters say the economy is their top priority in the 2020 election, followed closely by health care. The economy and worker rights is a very important issue. Health care is really important to me. The old neighborhood. I love this Welcome place. Welcome back. Back in my hometown of San Antonio, I sat down with the most visible Latino face on the campaign trail this year, Julian Castro. And the issues that matter to the Hispanic community are the issues that matter to all Americans, right? Castro was the only Latino to run for president in 2020. By the next presidential election, the number of Latinos in Texas is expected to surpass the white population. Do you think Texas is a swing state now? Yeah, I, you know, we are a swing state. You know, the last 10 to 12 polls showed the presidential race here basically tied. Yeah. And if we can win here, then it's game over for the Republicans. And the Latino vote is going to play a huge role. Turnout among Latino voters is expected to increase by 15% in the upcoming election. Who will you be voting for in November? I already voted. I voted for Mr. Trump. Why Trump? The economy. B bottom line. All right, John Keown is reporting for us there. We thank John for that report. And a programming note, join me, John, and Cecilia Vega, along with our team reporting on this crucial voting group, America's Future, The Power of the Latino Vote, premiering Tuesday at 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. streaming on ABC News Live. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.